hey guys hope you are learning new cool technical things but have you used one of the most cool thing in the cloud that is serverless computing yes you heard it right serverless computing which is known as lambda in aws or functions in cloud so it is also known as google cloud functions but here we are going to talk about aws lambda and we will create a lambda function as a demo so you must be wondering what exactly a lambda function is so basically lambda is a piece of code which you will provide to aws and aws runs it in a docker container behind the scene so the important point here is that you don't need to run an ec2 instance 24 7 and you don't need to pay for that instance that means you will only uh, be charged whenever your lambda function gets executed so let's go ahead and see a small demo so here is our aws console search for lambda let's create a function now aws provides some out of the box blueprint to get started with your lambda function so here are plenty of those we are going to use a template for node.js hello world starter so this is hello world a starter aws lambda function let's go and use it give it a name my lambda now you can choose an existing role to assign uh, to assign the role to this function or you can create a new one from the template or you can uh, create a custom one so I'm going to choose choose an existing role and from here I'll choose lambda basic execution so here is my uh, lambda function and it has already given me a piece of code since I'm using a template now I'm going to use it as it is and uh, I'll say create function so our lambda function has been created now we can change the code and uh, we can uh, change further settings so runtime is this you can edit the code here and uh, you can provide some environment variables too let's go ahead and give an environment variable and the value let's give it production you can provide tags if you want execution role we have already been given and uh, the basic settings are include the memory you want to allocate to this lambda function uh, the minimum one is 128 MB and the timeout for this function is from 0 to 3 seconds so let's change it to 10 seconds the maximum time can be used here is uh, 5 5 minutes and uh, so we are saying that uh, so we are saying that the maximum time uh, it can go for as uh, 10 seconds so if function takes more than 10 seconds uh, then it would be considered as a failure and the uh, and the execution will get terminated so this is all and since we have given an environment variable let's go ahead and uh, use that environment variable So as you can see we are providing a parameter event and we are printing its keys so that we are going to create so as of now what it is doing is this is a simple, fun simple function which is taking these parameters and it has a callback and uh, 
uh, what we are doing is we are uh, uh, we are printing the environment variable and uh, whatever is there in the event so let's go ahead and uh, save this and let's test this out so we are going to create a new test event and uh, by default the key uh, three keys are there and uh, it has some values so you can give it a name my test event and you can change this if you want and we are going to say create now this event has been created and we can test for this so execution result succeeded we can see the details here so this area shows uh, the result written by our function and the output the complete console output can be seen here so as you can see we were printing the values so value 1 equals to value 1 and so on and here our environment variable got printed and the total duration taken by this is 19.64 millisecond and you are built for 100 milliseconds and the resource being used is 128 MB and max memory used by this function is 19 MB so you can get all these details here now uh, you you must be wondering that uh, what could be the use case of this so there could be a number of use cases like uh, taking running a backup job which uh, you want to run uh, like uh, every day in midnight so you can trigger something else from this so lambda could uh, lambda can have a number of use cases depending on your need so this is all for this demo hope you like it keep learning keep sharing thanks for watching